I think he deserves a round of applause. One of the toughest guys in the welterweight division, Marcos Chino Maidan. Marcos. Buenas noches, muchas gracias. Eh, bueno, estoy muy contento de, de haber peleado dos veces con Floyd Mayweather. Uh, good evening, thank you all for being here. Well, I want to first say that uh, I'm very happy to have fought twice against Floyd Mayweather. He hecho un trabajo muy lindo. Muchos boxeadores han peleado con él nunca la le hicieron lo que yo le hice nunca le pegaron como le pegué. I think I did a terrific job. Uh, many fighters have fought against him, and you know I don't think they've done what I've been able to do and land so many punches against Floyd Mayweather. Oh. Yo siento que, que la pelea que he hecho salí ganador victorioso, pero bueno si los jueces prefieren a un cor un corralón como Floyd está bien. I felt that I did enough to win. I felt I did enough to win, but what can I say? If the judge is like a fighter that runs like Floyd, then there's nothing I can do about that. Bueno, muchas gracias y nos volveremos a ver cualquier la vez. Once again, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see we'll see you guys again once again here in Las Vegas. Eric got a question. So if we can open up for questions. Uh, wait before questions. Before before uh, before we start asking questions, I want to bring up Robert Garcia, the trainer. I think he did a terrific job with Gino these last couple of years. He deserves a lot of credit. He's one of the best the best trainers in, in, in our sport. Uh, Robert Garcia, say a few words. Robert. Good night to everybody. You know, we once again we obviously didn't uh, didn't take the decision, but I'm you know very proud to say that uh, you know. Chino Maidana, a one-dimensional fighter who, who nobody ever thought would be in this position, has fought Mayweather tie, twice and has been able to do what he's done in, in both fights. I am very, very happy that everybody came to support Mayweather for giving us the opportunity. We are blessed to be where we are right now and this is just the beginning. I think there's so many big things for, for Chino in the future. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. We'll open up to questions. Chino, first question for you. Chino, you uh, do you think that you gave the blueprint, even though you didn't win either of the fights, to other fighters that may face Floyd in the future to be able to beat him, showing him the way you you attack him? Yo creo que que sí que se le puede ganar. Se le puede ganar, eh, hay que pelear y atacar con la mano y no sabe qué hacer. Yes, uh, yes, that's that's true. Uh, I think he's beatable. He's beatable. I think you have to attack him more and more, and uh, when you attack him, you know, he, he doesn't really know what to do. Chino, I wonder. He landed 58% uh, of his power punches and 51% of his punches overall. Uh, you know, so he had a significantly higher percentage land in punches than you. Do you think it was the fact that his speed was too much? You would hit him as much as you would want to because that it initiated that 166, 128? No, para nada. pude no, no, not at all. It didn't bother me. Uh, you know, I was able to counter him, actually. I was able to counter him, and uh, he's very fast on his feet. I'll tell you that. Two other things. Uh, can you explain from your standpoint what happened in the center of the ring in the eighth round when it appeared you bit him? La verdad que yo en ningún momento sentí que lo mordí, no, no, no. El, me, sí me metía los dedos en el ojo y no, yo no sentí que lo mordí. No, 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 I, I didn't bite him, I, you know, that didn't happen. I didn't bite him, uh, I think that uh, he, he poked my eye, I did feel that when he had his glove in my face, but no, I didn't bite him. And then, uh, Mr. Garcia, I just want to ask you, uh, 
when you're in the corner and you know, you know, Mayweather's landing at a much higher percentage, does that affect you at all, or do you feel like Chino's pressure made the difference? Because you know the the connect percentage was so much vastly different. Well, we were asking Chino to put a lot of pressure. Obviously, that's the that's the way we're effective. Uh, we landed punch more when when we had uh, for the corner, so we just kept reminding him to put pressure. And uh, you know, the fight was a, a close fight, and Floyd was doing his job. You know, he's he's, uh, he's been the best for the last ten years. Uh, what can we do? Okay, more questions? Dan? Hey, Gino. Uh, Robert, the question for him for him. Okay. Uh, he's now had two fights, high profile fights with Floyd Mayweather. He went the distance, he was competitive early in the first one, maybe not as much so as but still, uh, you know, a fun fight to watch. Where did, what does he think it does for him, even though he has two losses in a row, what it does for him going forward with so many other you know, quality fighters in the weight class that he can mix up with and exciting fights for fans and make money for himself. Robert, you can answer that too, what you want to do. Yo creo que, no, me siento muy contento del trabajo que hice. Le he dado batalla a Fulme Guer que, que casi ningún boxeador le, le ha pegado tanto. Look, I'm very uh, satisfied with my performances against him. Uh, I did I did very well, I feel, against him. And I feel that I connected and landed too many punches that the other fighters weren't able to. I think no. No sé, pero creo que que estoy para pelear con cualquiera. I think I'm fine. I'm still at the same level. I think I'm ready to fight anybody. I can fight anybody at that level. With, with two fights against Floyd and the performances that we did, I, honestly, I think Chino's in great position for great fights. There's so many big names out there that are that fight in the luxury division. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure some Stephen Turcy and Tao Emino are you know, fighting with something great. Right? Great in the future. There's nothing to be ashamed of. We uh, we for the best and uh, and I think we did a great job both times. So we're in a great position right now. Chino, Chino, Chino. In the first fight, you admitted that you got tired in the second half. How did you feel in the second half of this fight? En la primera pelea bajé un poco el ritmo en, en el quinto round para, para adelante, el sexto. Eh, en esta me preparé muy bien, sabía que iba a ser una pelea dura como la anterior y tuve bien todos los rounds. Sí, yes, you're right. In the first fight, I, I, you know, my rhythm stopped, uh, you know, I slowed down. Uh, but in this fight, I felt that I fought hard to 12 rounds. I felt a lot better. Gracias.